fire is a chemical reaction called oxidation. A chemical reaction is a process where one or more substances are changed into other substances. Oxidation means that oxygen is one of the substances involved in the chemical reaction. Believe it or not, rust and fire have a lot in common. Rust is an example of slow oxidation. Over time, oxygen reacts with iron and turns it into rust. Fire, on the other hand, is an example of rapid oxidation. In a fire, oxygen reacts with a fuel under the influence of heat to create combustion. Combustion is the moment when the chemical reaction between the other three elements takes place and the fuel forms a flame. Oxygen, fuel, heat and combustion. These are the four requirements of fire. Let's explore them in a little more detail. Oxygen is present almost everywhere on Earth. Wind increases the oxygen flow and makes fire burn faster. On the other hand, putting the lid on a kitchen grease fire starves it of oxygen and extinguishes it. Just remember, oxygen is everywhere, unless we do something to cut it off. The second requirement for fire is fuel. Fuel is anything that burns. Different materials burn at different rates. Dry grass, paper and gasoline burn much faster than large trees. Most metal burns much more slowly than wood. And concrete <laughs> won't burn at all. It's not a fuel. <laughs> The third requirement for fire is heat. Even with plenty of oxygen and fuel, if the heat source isn't high enough, fire won't start. The reason that wet grass burns more slowly than dry grass and firefighters often use water to put out a fire is that water helps to cool off the fuel. If the fuel temperature doesn't meet the threshold needed for fire, no fire will start. There are three kinds of heat. Radiant heat takes the form of light and heats objects that its rays land on. The sun gives off radiant heat, so does a light bulb. The second kind of heat is called convection. Convection heat is transferred through the air. For example, if a fire in one room of a building is hot enough, it may make the next room burst into flame, even if the fire hasn't physically spread to the second room. The third type of heat is called conduction. It spreads through matter rather than through the air. A hot muffler on a vehicle parked in dry grass conducts its heat to the grass, which may catch on fire. We can't control oxygen very well because it's all around us, but we can control fuel and heat by keeping them away from each other. And because we can control them, we can also control the fourth requirement for starting a fire, combustion the chemical reaction that ignites the fuel. If this chemical reaction doesn't happen, fire doesn't happen. On the other hand, if the right kind of fuel, a high enough heat source and adequate oxygen are present, combustion has a very good chance of taking place. Keep the heat away from the fuel. A human being can almost always control whether or not a fire starts. 